This may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think about school supplies. But for many local kids, a warm coat, a pair of socks, or even a toothbrush might be the difference that allows them to go to school ready to learn. That's where the Little Bit Foundation comes in. And that day I met a little boy who um, wore his dad's leather coat with a um, broken zipper. And when I gave him a coat that fit, he said, my dad's going to be so happy I'm warm. And something changed in me that day, and I realized children that live in our city didn't have their basic needs met so that they could stay in school, be in school, and really focus on an education. So that's really when the mission was born. The Little Bit Foundation was founded in 2001. Thanks to partnerships and donations from individuals and organizations, the nonprofit now serves more than 11,000 students in 38 area schools every week. Every school that we serve, there's a little bit space. We call it the boutique. And in that boutique, there's emergency items. Coats, underwear, socks, hygiene items, anything that may come up as an emergency so that child can stay in school that day. But then we order on a handheld device um, what they need. So one child may get a uniform, another child may get a coat, another child may get school supplies and everything. Along with distributing needed health and wellness tools and school supplies, LittleBit is now using its connections and expertise in another way, helping bring STEM learning to the classroom through a program called My Sci Do. We are extremely excited about this program. We partner with WashU, Monsanto, and Maryville on robotics. And they build the curriculum, the educators, and then LittleBit brings the program in and trains teachers and then facilitates the programs within the school community. The day we visited Gibson Elementary School, the students in Ms. Usher's class were working on a project to create robotic creatures out of Legos and then write code to get the robots to perform a task like pulling another object. It comes with a hub that is Bluetooth connected to the Chromebook and that's where the programming comes in. So it connects to the Chromebook and then you can maybe make it move for five seconds, make it turn around, do a 90 degree spin. You can record your voice and have it talk. You could have a motion sensor where maybe you wave your hand in front of it and then it moves. Um, you can set the time to, it's gonna move five seconds after we turn it on. There's a ton of different stuff. And so the kids can kind of customize it. Little Bit has brought this program to 105 K through six classrooms since it started last year. And facilitators say it's already helping pique kids' interests in math and science and start seeing themselves in a whole new way. One of the beginning activities is draw scientists and a lot of the students are drawing kind of like the white male with the crazy hair and with a beaker and a you know lab coat and then afterwards they're drawing themselves or someone who looks like them. You know the Little Bit Foundation is so proud of our success over the years. One of um, a major thing that we've been able to show through data and following our students year after year that when the Little Bit serves the student their attendance improves. So when attendance improves higher education occurs. So extremely, extremely proud of that.